everybody and welcome to Coastal Experts. Today I'm happy to have with me David Chessworth. He's a fitness expert from Hilton Head Health. Hi David, it's great Hi, to see good you. good to see you so too. So glad to have you here. You know, and I'm so happy to have you here because during this time of year, a lot of people fall off the wagon when it comes to fitness. What can people do to set themselves up for success this time of year? That's a great question. So a lot of times when people are jumping into a fitness program, oftentimes they'll think about what they want. They want to lose weight, they want to fit into certain clothes, you know, thinking about the end goal, which is fine. It's good to think about that thing, but oftentimes they forget about why they want to do this. And so I would challenge anyone who's starting a fitness program to really think about, to start by thinking about why. Uh, and when you really dig into that, and some, the, the more powerful that answer to that question is, the more sustainable your plan will be. For example, some really powerful ones that we hear at Hilton Head Health that guests have is, um, you know, I have grandkids and I want to be able to keep up with them, get up and down from the floor. Um, just recently, we had a guest talk about how for the first time in five years, he got up and down off of the floor without needing help from a chair. Wow. And so just things like that that, um, that really make a difference and impact uh, the why. Um, so that's exactly how I would recommend someone to start is to answer that question. Now, what about New Year's resolutions? Because we all make them, but it's all about keeping them as well. So what are some good health and wellness tips where that's concerned? Absolutely. So at Hilton Health, we talk a lot about creating smart goals. Um, and may, you may or may not have heard of those before, but S stands for specific, M measurable, A action oriented, R realistic, and T time bound. And so I would encourage to treat your resolution the same way, in a smart way. So something that's realistic, for example, perhaps for some people using your Fitbit to monitor 10,000 steps a day, three days a week, for example, might be a great New Year's resolution. Um, or, or something even maybe not fitness related, something could be journaling, whether it's journaling what you did for fitness or journaling how you feel that day, and that might help you stay motivated on your fitness plan. So I would encourage someone to approach it in a smart way um, so that it boosts confidence instead of paralyzes you. Well, David, you know, after the new year, it seems like the gyms are filled. All of the trails are filled with walkers and bikers and that kind of thing. How do you prevent burnout? That, that's a really solid question. So burnout is almost inevitable, especially if you are staying on the same plan. So some ways to, to beat burnout, we all, we all experience it at certain times, is to have, something that you, to, to have something in your plan that you enjoy. You might not have to enjoy the whole thing, but to have things that you enjoy, have things that are simple, have a backup plan, whether it's an exercise routine at home, and don't be afraid to try new things from time to time. Maybe once a month, make it a point to go try something new to re that's refreshing and exciting. Gets you, um, even if you don't keep that new thing, you might approach that old thing that you've been doing in a new, exciting way. You know, gyms do get business, and it is a big business, yeah. but uh, there's no reason not to exercise wherever you are, and there's some things that you can do anywhere, simple things. That's, that's so true. One, for example, we can do seated right here. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times in uh, the American culture, we might be at a desk like this, hunched over. Oh, at our computers at our, doing exactly, that. Exactly, yeah, at our absolutely. computers, driving, whatever driving it might be, like this. eating, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're always in this forward position. So a really simple exercise you can do to help improve that posture is if you just have your elbows by your side, about 90 degrees, and you just pump them back, you should feel your upper back squeezing. You squeeze those shoulder blades together. Oh, mine you, actually cracked. They cracked? Did, did it hurt or did it feel good? It felt good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> A crack with no pain is a good crack. Um, but yeah, you could just do 10 repetitions throughout your, uh, several times throughout the day just to help fight against that posture. That's a really good um, at-home exercise. You know, squats. Um, sometimes people get intimidated by squats, especially if they've had surgeries before. Um, but it's, think about it like you're going to sit down and do a chair. Maybe even use a chair. Sit down to stand, sit to stand um, sometimes called squat. So there are many examples, wall push-ups. Um, that people can do without going to the gym. But it's a great stress relief as well. Absolutely. What, uh, what, what about looking for the, the perfect gym or, or using a personal trainer? How do, you, how do you look for the perfect gym mm -hmm. and the trainer for your program? Yeah, and the, the right answer is going to be different for different people, um, but some solid things to start with is, you know, location, budget, you know, the obvious things. Um, but I would also encourage you to shop around for a gym in a similar way you would shop around for a house. Don't be afraid to, to go in there to meet the people. Um, see if they offer free classes, free personal trainings, and do them. Take advantage of those things and see, could you see yourself there? Um, do you like the trainers they have? Do you like the culture that's there? If you like the culture, you might have meet friends. The community piece is so powerful. Um, that might keep you motivated. Um, I have friends that 
joined a CrossFit gym and they just keep going simply because they have friends that they want to see when they go there. So it, if you can find a community, that's a really powerful way to do it. Now that you're on your routine, how long does it take for those good behaviors to become habits or lifelong habits? I would start with a simple habit. Uh, for example, what we just did here would be considered a simple habit, maybe adding a 10 minute walk to your day and give yourself 21 days to, to see if it works. If, if it's easy, then you can build upon it. If it's too hard, then maybe scale back. Um, but really, uh, what we do at Hilton Head Health is a great place to practice building these habits, whether regardless of your fitness level, regardless of your goals, fitness, nutrition, stress management, whatever it is, um, we, can, we can cater to that. So You have something yeah. for everyone. We sure do. And that's why you guys are the experts. Thanks so much for joining us, David. It's always great to see you. Thank you for having me. If you have a fitness question for David or anyone at Hilton Head Health or any of our coastal experts, just go to the Coastal Experts page at WSAV.com.